welcome to very different weather than we have had so far this January. It's warm and we had a lot of rain come in and really we've seen pretty much just about everything this month. And as you see behind me here, here's the answer to one of the questions I saw on one of the YouTube videos that the drought conditions look fantastic across North Texas, much better than they did. Uh, you can see here that uh, we have some abnormally dry down south of Bosque County and then down to the southeast as well. But overall, we're looking pretty good out there. It's It's been continuing to improve and we will see it improve more as we get more rain coming up this weekend and going forward from there. So I think we're going to be in a good spot going into spring, which of course leads into summer. So hopefully uh, El Nino will keep up its end of the bargain in terms of the moisture, keep the rain coming and keep us in a good spot in terms of the drought. And we'll look at the uh, lake levels as well. <clears throat> this is just a, as a few days ago, 100% full in Bardwell, Navarra Mills, Aquila, uh, Whitney, uh, Pat Cleburne, Joe Poole, over here at Cedar Creek Lake as well, and uh, almost full there at Richland Chambers. Now, Waxahachie and Halbert both a little bit lower, uh, but I don't think that's that abnormal there. <clears throat> but overall, across our area, uh, just about full there at Lake Granberry, but across our area overall, we're looking really, really good. Temperatures are nice today too. We're in the upper 60s today. We're touching 70 in some places, much higher than that norm of 59 degrees, which yes, that's on the increase now. Doesn't mean we can't see any colder days, but yes, our overnight lows will be above normal as well as we get into the low to mid 40s. Now, we have just a few clouds out there today. It's mostly sunny, but we do have some moisture coming in with this southwest flow, and that's normal for, uh, especially an El Nino year, but yeah, that's, that's normally what we're gonna see. That southwest flow bringing a few clouds in, but uh, mostly sun, and we're happy for it. We have had a need for that sun recently. Now, we have high pressure that is in, uh, excuse me, influencing our weather right now, high pressure up in the Rockies as well, and then we do have this front. Now, this will not be a strong front for our area. Most of that is gonna go east of us, but it will drop down late Tuesday and bring some at least somewhat cooler temperatures on Wednesday. We warm up again, and then off to the west. Yes, the Pacific Northwest will be watching the next couple of days, as our next system comes ashore, and that will bring showers, maybe a few thunderstorms for the weekend here. So let's take a look at the forecast today. Yeah, we're getting close to 70 degrees there, light west winds, mid 40s overnight. Tomorrow, I do think we'll hit 70 ahead of that front. Some of us could be in the low 70s. Light winds both days, so again, pretty pleasant, and low 40s behind that front. 67 degrees Wednesday, just a little bit cooler, but yes, we turn winds right back to the southeast very quickly after that front moves through. 44 and 68, so we're right back to the upper 60s Thursday, Friday mid 60s, and then yes, we will be looking at our next chance for rain. We're still watching some of the details here in terms of timing and how much rain we're expecting, and really whether we'll see any stronger storms or not. Right now it doesn't look as likely, but I'll continue to watch that. But it does look like rain could start as early as Wednesday, uh, excuse me, Friday evening. Saturday looks fairly rainy, and then Sunday could be a chilly rain as well. Doesn't look as widespread. Looks like on the back side of that low, we'll just get some moisture there. But again, this does not look near as cold as the systems we had a couple of weeks ago that were able to pull down some of that Arctic air. That's staying up north this time. So it'll be a little bit chilly on Sunday. Could be a windy day, but overall, not too bad. So stay tuned throughout the week as we watch for that next chance of rain headed our way. Thank <laughs> you.